Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You got a photo and you got text. But what happens when you want to put text into the photo and still have it be a photo, but instead of looking like a photo, it looks like a photo with text? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, let me zoom in here on this example. See, it's, it's like an eyeball, but these are actually words. If I zoom in a little closer, you can see the words that, that make up the eyeball. Have you ever wanted to do that to your own digital images? It, it's, it's possible. It is. And all you need to do is download this free tool known as, if I can find it there, the Textorizer. Spelled like that. Text-o-ri-zer. Pause the video. Spell it out. You're good to go. It's the Textorizer, as people have keyed in here in the chat room at live.perillo.com. It is uh, quite simply a cross-platform utility uh, that will allow you to do just that to well, just about anything. Well, any image. Uh, of course, you can tweak different things. Changing the image, changing the uh, you know the output. It will even output SVG. Yay, scalable vector graphics. Change the output image name. Change the font that is actually used in the output image, uh, including the number of strokes, the threshold, minimum font scale, maximum font scale. So you can like tag cloud this thing. Uh, this thing. Uh, change the words so you can actually import from any text file. You can take let's say uh, uh, um, a text file from uh, the uh, you know Gutenberg. Download that text file and then you know string together you know some photo based on those images. Well, it's not really a photo anymore; it's really art based on a photo and text. The texturizer will let you do stuff like this: free, cross-platform, and easy. Gotta like that combination, don't you? Well, at least I do. And if you have any other recommendations to make along those lines, whether it has to do with art, text, fonts, downloads, whatever. I'll take any recommendation that you think is cool. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And even though I'm not cool, there are thousands of people who are, and they're at geeks.perillo.com. Making recommendations uh, all over the place. Sorry about that. I had a little, a little too much to drink earlier. I'm fine now. I'm okay. There'll be uh, no, um, uh, how should we say this, um, expunging of liquids in this particular video. <clears throat> you never really know what's going to happen here on this uh, set of sorts. It's my home office. I've got this video feed going out over the web 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and we're typically talking tech. Even if I'm not sitting in this chair, there are people in the chat room that are more than willing to talk to you or poke fun of me at any given time. Seriously, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.